Hey y'all, Jessie Fearn from TheBudgetMama.com and today I'm going to go over my process for reconciling our bank accounts, um, a process that kind of helps me to better stick to our budget and to kind of expect how our expenses should play out, especially for the months ahead. Um, and what we have here is, what you're seeing here is just the spreadsheet from um, our bank from um, all I did was just go in and download our um, bank activity for one month and whenever you download um, your bank activity you're you typically will not see this top bar here the where I had like the categories listed out or whatever so you're gonna um, need to highlight the top row and then hit um, insert for um, a row to appear above the top line and once you do that you can then label out your columns and then in order to get this sort of little drop down menu this is really really helpful for being able to categorize your expenses you're just gonna go up to I believe it's review nope data yep data okay you're gonna go to data and then you're gonna hit filter um, I'm sorry first you have to highlight the top bar and then you go to data then you hit filter and then you will be able to have these nifty little drop down arrows and these little nifty little drop down arrows are super helpful once you've actually filled out this category column here so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go through each every single expense that you have for the month and you're going to have to give it a category i know that sounds tedious and time consuming but it's super helpful for knowing exactly where your money has gone for the month and how you spent your money um so in order so give it each a category and as you see here even though this expense is technically a miscellaneous expense it wasn't an expense that we were anticipating but our vacuum cleaner broke and uh, we needed a, a part to replace it so our vacuum cleaner would actually work in so I'd obviously didn't have a category labeled vacuum cleaner parts because I didn't think I would ever need to order a vacuum cleaner part so I've just categorized it as miscellaneous but I like to include here a note that lets me know exactly what that was for so it's not just some unidentified expense that I'm like what was this for I actually know what it was for and I know that probably next month I'm not going to have to spend that money on a vacuum cleaner part okay so once you've gone through and labeled out every single expense and you have your categories you can just select the little drop down menu sorry my computer's being slow and then deselect all and then you can just select one which will just select emergency fund here so we want to see how much money we saved to our emergency fund where this amount is as you see um, my bank go, goes ahead and any um, transaction that took money out of our checking account is labeled with a negative so this doesn't mean that we have a negative balance it just means that this took money from our checking account and put it into our emergency fund and so what you'll do here is you'll select the box underneath it hit the home button select auto sum then hit enter and then right here that tells you how much you saved in one month towards your emergency fund or towards you know whatever or how much you spent on groceries and so on and so forth so this is just a really nifty way of being able to um, go through and actually see how much you're spending each month on um, your different categories of your expenses um, and this will help you to better um, to better estimate what your expenses should be for the for the next month so if you've never done this before I encourage you to go ahead go through your expenses just download your account activity from your online bank um, I'm not tech savvy enough to be able to show you how to do that and hide my account numbers at the same time so that's why I went ahead and had had already downloaded it because I couldn't figure out how to hide my account numbers but typically with your online bank you're just gonna log in gonna click on your checking account you're gonna look at your little account summary and then somewhere on that page usually right above your transaction Actions, there's a link that will say um, download account activity or you know download you know bank statements or download transactions or something like that if you click on that you'll be able to have the option of downloading it in a CSV file a comma separated variable file I think or something like that it's called and that will download it into a spreadsheet just like this one that you see here and so then you can go through this process so I hope this helps you be able to figure out how to better manage your expenses and figure out where your money's going every month um, thank you again